Hey, so our topic is low frequency or transformer based inverters. So what are the characteristics or differences in a low frequency or transformer based inverters? Well, number one, typically this, is, this inverter is gonna be a larger footprint, it's gonna be bigger and or heavier uh, than our typical uh, high frequency inverter. Why is it gonna be bigger and heavier? Well, inside a low frequency inverter, it contains a large copper transformer. That copper transformer is gonna be what converts the DC voltage to AC voltage versus in a high frequency where it's got electronic components in it, so not as heavy, doesn't take up as much room. Some of the uh, performance characteristics of a low frequency inverter would be the surge capability. Now surge capability from a pure wattage standpoint will be similar to a high frequency, so it's typically two times the uh, the rated continuous output, sometimes as high as three, but in most cases, two times the rated um, continuous. So a 2000 watt inverter uh, would be capable of um, 4000 watt uh, surge capacity. The difference being uh, the surge time on a low frequency inverter is approximately five seconds versus a high frequency inverter that, that'll surge for about five milliseconds. So where does this make a difference? This makes a difference when we're starting uh, motors under load. So compressors and air conditioners would be two common uh, things, motor loads that start under load uh, and require high surge capability that oftentimes a high frequency inverter won't start no matter what, what the, the, uh, the surge rating is. The other, the other time we would use a transformer base or low frequency inverter is if it's got a long uh, continuous draw. So if it's working all day long, we'd want to go with a transformer base inverter because typically that uh, copper transformer isn't going to wear out near as fast as electronic components. Uh, thus, you're going to get longer life out of a uh, low frequency inverter. And typically we're going to find uh, low frequency inverters in renewable applications, of grid applications where you know the loads are larger and longer versus mobile, but again, mobile applications that have large motor loads are where we're going to find low frequency inverters. So for more information on this and other inverters, visit us at cdenergy.com.